Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage Skins. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be playing Grim Legends 3, The Dark City from Artifacts Monday. Yes, we're back for Artifacts Monday. It is actually, uh, it's an ongoing series here on the channel. I like their stuff games. I find them very relaxing unless I start to get really stressed out by them. Um, there are many games I'll turn to actually doing the find the object stuff has always been interesting to add, mostly match puzzles or uh, some other kind of form of uh, gameplay that actually allows you to not have to look at a screen for long periods of time, finding objects that are right in front of your eyes. But yes, uh, we're going to be playing Grim Legends 3, The Dark City. Now, Grim Legends, uh, they are, they feel that they're, they're not in a contiguous series. They're actually being uh, individual series episodes related to whatever story they actually have. The Grim Legends are just Grim Fables, I suppose, best way to describe them. Uh, this one, I have no idea what it is, so let's check it out. Oh, it's an Assassin's Creed one. <laughs> I'm the daughter of Ezio Adatori. <laughs> find a hay bale. Find a hay bale. <laughs> That's the sign of exactly what it's going to be. Find a hay bale. Let's turn that down a little tiny touch. Uh, make sure that we're ready to rock and roll. So, um, Grim. Uh, so, Artifacts Monday games have always had a habit of being very uh, audio, like the game audio being over the top of the dialogue audio. I'm going to switch it down a wee tiny bit before we actually jump into the game here. Um, boom, boom. And boom, boom. And that should be us a little bit better. Yes, yes, yes. All the things I normally expect of one of these. I'm going to brighten this up just for you guys online as well. And we're going to jump into the Dark City as a casual. A filthy, filthy casual. Whee! Into the actual hay bale. It really does feel like they are just like, this is... This is aping um, an Assassin's Creed game, but I'm loving the concept of taking an Assassin's Creed game and then turned into a hidden object game. Why, hello there, sir from Order 1667. And smell clean. Remember, first thing of our order, always clean your underwear. They are close to collapse roof. Watch out while I was fixing the roof. I saw a monster inside. I called the order. Let them handle this. There's a girl in there. We need to find a way to get her out. I wonder what we should do. Should we move this stuff out of the way and find something that we can wedge the door open with? Does that? First rule of lockpicking, have lockpick. Yeah, that's very true. Um, hmm. No way to hook it. All right, so I need to find a hook. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, we can use that. Open the pins, and we're in. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, kiddo. I uh, can't do much for you here. Let's go in here. And we grab... Aha! Those things go together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how I knew what we had to do. <laughs> I knew we had to go into the theater at some point. And climby, 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 climb. To the roof! Ooh, that's cool. Lockpicks. Excellent. G. O G. I don't have that yet, so I'll come back to you. And go back downstairs. Go over here. I use this. And we use this with this. Clickety click. Clickety click. There we go. 
Demon's head. Works for me. Um, boom, back up here. Pop the demon's head into there. Excellent. And I imagine we have this all to match. Ah, right. There is a clue somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, one half of the thingy missing. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what kind of monster that is. I'm just going to back off here. You know, just leave it alone. Yeah, and yeah, I figured I can tell where things are. Oh, useful. Take out all of the tools. Wait, was this? I use these binoculars to get a better look at the creature. Wait, what? I used? Are we? How are we? Oh, dang. Binoculars? What? I literally just made a set of binoculars. Why are you not letting me? Binoculars. Oh my god. Wouldn't let me use them because I didn't have a handle? Yes, it is a monster. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Purple, green, yellow, red. All right. Purple, green. Happy days! The door to the backstage. Yes, you shut up too. Die, foul monster. Oh, that's all right then. Did you just cry wolf? What? Play side B backwards. Um, right. This for a note. So, yeah, I figured that would be the case. Ah, come on. I'll hold her prey tight. Yes. Tighten someone under the wing. There's meant to be a hole here. Maybe I'm meant to wind the spring. How am I meant to wind the spring? Oh, wait, I'm looking for a note. Do I have anything in here? Oh, there we go. Right.
There we go. Boom. That's how we get it to play backwards. What? Who are you? The fucking Riddler? That was evidence, you fuckwit! Don't go alone, take this! And you'll also fear through me when you do so. Be member of the Order. Dedicate our lives to fight creatures from beyond our world with all of our bravery, wisdom, and cunning. The incarcerated stones are kept beyond this door. The Koshma trapped inside the stones are powerful enough to decimate even entire cities. I have one of these. Where is the other one? New orders. Called in abandoned theater. You two are to guard the treasury. Stay vigilant. Yes. Okay. So you, we left him to die, pretty much. Is that a poison dart? Oh! They're actually not being killed. They've just been drugged. Mostly so that we would come back and open the door for them so they haven't actually gone inside yet. Also, kind of creepy that there is. People in fear standing here looking at me. Two runes in the picture. Identify them. Yes. Okay. Oh, two runes that match the same? All right. Um, hmm. There, there. Oh, there it is. Assuming that was the girl that was just there? And you're fine, and you're fine? Mask Wraith, also known as the Order of the Isle, or Court of Isles. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. This is actually all a Batman story. No wonder it was skulking through rooftops. Defenders of the Realm. Is that room? Where is that? There it is. The prison stone. Um, wait, what am I looking for again? That one? Um, there we go. Obviously, one there. And that's another forearm. Oh, so it's dangerous for that reason. Uh, boom, one over there. Uh... Where are you? Where are you? One. Oh, there it is, right on the stone. Of course they do. I love the fact that they actually have this whole thing, but that's how the door opens. It has to tell the story every time you open the door. And people are going, oh, God, I'm only on just on my guard shift, man. 
They don't actually. Have a... Yep. It was that's the person who's breaking in. Bonk. Yeah, it was coming. You thieving shite. Jesus, he can jump like goddamn Spider-Man. Trying to find a word there, and then it's like Spider-Man popped out of nowhere. Grim Legends Three: The Dark City. Get back the Incarcery Stone before he causes chaos. Visit for thirty-six picturesque locations. No, no, I think we're okay for the moment. That was Grim Legends Three. That's our first week quick look at Grim Legends Three: The Dark City here on Artifacts Monday. If you would like to see more of Grim Legend 3, make sure to hear to check back in on the channel. We'll see if we can actually get us through the first story of this. Um, as always, every Grim Legend story or every single Nerd Effects Monday story has comes with two actual stories, two actual games to play through uh, with set puzzles. So uh, what we have done in the past, we actually have done playthroughs of the first story of the games, if you want to check those out. So if you want to see that, there'll be a playlist popping up in the corner. We'll actually have Artifacts Monday games right there for you to check out either Wii demos or actually full playthroughs of one of the games. Uh, not just one of the games, of the entire plethora that Artifacts Money actually have available. Or you can actually see the most recent video on the channel right up there. Or on the far corner over there, you can actually see every single video that is chosen for you! Yes! They are specifically designed to get tailored to your yes, your interest. If it actually is something that you've looked at on YouTube previously, I have a video that may be related to it, and YouTube will actually marry that information together and give you exactly what you need. So I highly recommend you check that out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you all again on another Artifacts Monday. Thank you very much for watching. And speak again soon. Bye.